We're having fun in the attic, kids. Who grew up in the uh, 90s? Because uh, you might remember this. This is the first belly dance music that I ever bought on cassette. Jack, you're not helping. A fake tree. Working on some stockings. We got that Dollar Tree. That Dollar Tree real real. I think we should put these on the front door. My Nana made me this. I guess we should take the Halloween zombie down then, huh? How's that for a moonrise, huh? Ooh. Beautiful. Actually just finished getting ready and I wanted to come outside and check out the sunset for a few minutes and just uh, tell you guys what's going on for the night. So I'm going to see um, a band called Life of Agony that I was into when I was a wee angsty teenager and despite many many efforts to see them um, every time I have either not had money when the tickets went on sale a lot of times they sell out really quickly because they got back together after a super long time um, so the first few shows and the first few tours definitely sold out super fast so finally I get to see them I'm so excited and it's only downtown so it's not too far away so <sighs> But I have a few hours, so I think I'm going to put some dinner together, and, uh, and then we're going to get ready to go. Let's look at that sunset again. Whew. So pretty. Making some chicken and rice soup from scratch, so I'm going to try and get the first couple steps done before the show tonight. So I got my water boiling for the chicken. About to instant pot some rice because I'm one of those people that can't cook rice. So I always use the instant pot and it always comes out perfect. Ha! Ah. One of the many joys of my old and ancient apartment is that I have to wait for the coffee maker to finish before I start the instant pot or it will blow the uh, fuse. So.
Now I'm making some no need bread. I got this recipe from the New York Times website. It's this super awesome, easy to make homemade bread recipe. All you have to do is put three cups of all purpose flour and a quarter cup of rapid instant rise yeast and then um, a quarter and a full teaspoon of salt. So I don't know why I said that weird, a teaspoon and a quarter. And then you're going to use one and five eighths a cup of water, which is one and a half cups of water plus two tablespoons. You cover that up and let it rise for like 12 to 18 hours, preferably 18. And then you're gonna bake that in a cast iron Dutch oven. The lid on your cast iron Dutch oven and you're going to bake that at 450 degrees for 30 minutes and then take the lid off the Dutch oven and then bake it for another 15 minutes to brown the top. Oh my god you guys it is so good and your house will smell heavenly for like two days. Yeah.